Hey everyone, welcome to the Wilson Homestead. So today I just wanted to share my perennial flower bed with you guys and show you what's blooming. So to start off here, I have purple echinacea, which is gorgeous. One of my favorite flowers. I have humongous hardy hibiscus, which is not blooming yet, but it won't be long. Day lilies and I've got some butterfly bush also known as Budlea some more beautiful day lilies back there behind that white balloon flower still a couple small blooms on this variegated geranium these are the columbine seed pods and I just wanted to show you Look at all these seeds. And I just come out here and just scatter these around because I would like to have these everywhere in the springtime. Let's do another one. I'm going to throw some of them over here. But I have seed pods everywhere. Another gorgeous day lily. This is Select Blue Catmint, which the bees are loving. This garden is seriously looking like an overgrown jungle <laughs> I've got to build me some new flower beds because I just shove everything into this flower bed and there really isn't enough room to be doing that Helenium also known as sneeze weed And you can see here my hardy hibiscus are getting buds on there. I've got some white phlox coming up through the hibiscus there. And check out this gorgeous daylily. Isn't that beautiful? Also got some really pretty balloon flowers. This is sea holly. Really cool plant. This is a nice little surprise. This is why I love living in the country. I get to see stuff like this all the time.
Aren't they so cute? Where'd Mama go? Butterfly bush again. I feel like you can't go wrong with this plant because you get to see these gorgeous butterflies on it all the time. This thing is massive. These beautiful blooms and they smell really good. Some more echinacea inside of my obelisk. But really, like, everything is so overgrown in here. Like, it could be a lot more amazing if I would get some stuff cleaned out of here. So I'm going to have to start working on another flower bed so I can move some things. Like, especially some of these hardy hibiscus because they're taking up the entire bed. With these butterfly bushes, once the flowers look like this, I usually get my snippers out and clip this part off and then they'll keep blooming because see here's some buds getting ready to open and I want to keep deadheading these because I don't want them to seed everywhere because they are a humongous plant and I would get myself into the same situation that I'm in with all of these hibiscus in here have another Pretty daylily right here. I wish I knew the varieties of these because somebody gave them to me, so I don't know the names of all of them. I could watch this all day. My peach tree did not produce any fruit this year, which is kind of disappointing. Maybe next year. The deer and rabbits have been really hard on my hookera this year. Like, this one used to be a pretty good sized hookera and they just nibbled it away. Hopefully it'll come back. I've got to get some weeding done too. This is a total mess, but if you watched my last episode, you know I've been dealing with the vegetable garden, so it's kind of hard to keep up with this too. But I will get there. Alright, that does it for this episode. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope to see you next time here on the Wilson Homestead. Bye guys.